What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm back with another video, but before I get into that video, I would like to take a moment to remind everyone to click on the link in the description box. Make sure you check those videos out. Leave me some comments, leave me some views, and most importantly, leave me some thumbs up. Today I'm back with another video. Today I'm doing a food stamp haul. Now, before I get into the video, I want to remind y'all that I play around with each video title with an app called TubeBuddy. Whichever whichever title for a video get 50 plus rating, that's the name I run with. So first I typed in Food Line Hall. That got like 27% rating. Then I typed in what I bought with Food Stamp. They got a low rating. So then I, I played with a bunch of different names, worded in all kind of ways. But the one I got the most rating it is food stamp haul and i'm like wow that just really shocked me but as like i said in a youtube short yesterday uh a co-worker sold me four hundred dollars four hundred dollar worth of food stamps for two hundred dollars everyone that sells stamps sell them 50 cent on a dollar so they sell you 200 stamps 200 dollars in food stamps you give them 100 in cash you know what i mean and that really, I don't know about y'all, but that helped me out a lot. You know, I bought $400 worth of stamps for $200 in cash. That $400 in stamps that I spent to put groceries in my house where I laid my head at for me, my brother, his wife, and my nephew, or for four people to eat up. I also put another $2 worth of groceries in my mom's house out of the food stamps. You know what I mean? So that that's a good thing. I really thank you for that. I really appreciate that. I try to connect myself in every way I can because that's how I had it in Florida. They have to buy food because I knew two of the people that sell stamps. And it comes in handy. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like spending four or five hundred dollars in the grocery store when I can find somewhere around the hood or somebody that I work with that's willing to sell a portion of their food stamps to put extra cash in their pocket. You know, it's all kind of ways, it's all kind of tricks of the trades that get over in America. You just got to figure them out. Take advantage that they come your way. No matter how small, how big it is, take full advantage of it. And I did just that. With that 400 stamps, I did just that. This is what I bought for me for lunch for the next two weeks or the next week. How long it lasts. I got a bunch of canned goods that add to the canned goods I already got. Like Shepard IDs. I bought a lot of those again. I bought this some snaps. I bought my favorite. Club Chris, I always get these. The ranch ones. Yes, I love these right here. These are one of my favorite snacks for work. Uh, food wise, this is what I bought food wise. You see the big food on it? The food line bag, they, they two, these was two for five. So I got, I think I got 10 of them. I got enough to eat two a day at work. Spaghetti and meat, meat sauce. Two for five, now two for five. I got the rice and chicken. I got a bunch of those. You know, trying to trying to lay out the fast food, going to McDonald's, spending three dollars a day for a double cheeseburger and a small fry, or going to Wendy's getting a four for four or a five for five. You know, they get old. That stuff not good for your body. A lot of managers on my night job telling me, boy, that fast food gonna catch up with you. And I'm looking like they're crazy now. I'm like, hey, let's make these changes now, because I'm already at 42. See, I got Got a lot of the rice and chicken, rice and chicken one. Got a lot of those. You know, got a lot of those. Got the, got the beef stew one. Yeah, got a beef stew one. Got another spaghetti and meat, cause they didn't have that many different variety, different ones. And got another beef stew. They two for five, so that's, that's one night, two nights, two nights to eat right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's two nights and those stuff for work. I usually keep in the car, you know. That's two nights, three nights, four nights plus canned good. I don't see my, so that's that. I also got me some snacks that I started months on the day for work on my 15 minute break while I study. I got a 24 box. Yeah, I took two out there and we eat them. A 20, a 20 pack box of 
What are these? Peanut butter crackers to eat. Yeah, I had to get that. And also seen some new rich crackers I want to try. The garlic butter. Yes, garlic butter. I'm going to try them out. That's what it's chef for. It's chef for all these cans I bought. I'm going to throw some of these in each one. That's another snack to eat that I bought myself for work. And also, for another snack I bought me to eat is uh the big boy. Last night, you know, gotta say the biggest for last. Gotta say the biggest for last. I don't eat three bags of chips out of this. The bit, what is it called? Variety pack snacks. You know what I mean? The bit variety pack, you can see it, you know. Those are the ones that come in the show this way. The ones I want the most is the party mix. I'm crazy about them. I'm crazy about them. Outside of rap snacks, those are my favorite chips right there. The party mix, if y'all can see that very well, you know. Yeah. This is a 28 bag, bag of chips, so this can last me at least at a minimum of two weeks of eating. You know, at least a good two weeks of those, you see. I ate two bags a day also with the Happy Meal because I didn't really eat the nuggets. I gave half of them away and ate two bags of these with the, with the, uh, with the fry and the medium can meal, iced coffee. You know, I like to eat. Your boy like to eat. But this will last me. About a good, this is about a good. I think I got a good, I want to say two weeks of stuff to eat for snacks and dinner every night in my trunk with, with canned goods and all. So this is what I bought for uh for a shout out and my shout out video the last Sunday in October. Y'all tell me, do y'all get food sales? What, what, what do what do y'all spend them on? What do y'all spend them on? You know what I mean? Sure, sure. You know what y'all think? Think this keep me full for the next two weeks? Let me know. I give you a shout out. My shout out video the last Sunday in October. Also, if you like this haul, moment to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you turn on post notifications. And most importantly, make sure you click on that playlist in the description box. You know, run my views up, leave me some thumbs up, leave me some comments, and I'll do the same on your channel. I'm trying to get the views high as I can. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to reach that million views in a decent time frame. I'm trying to get to the million views. I'm coming hard, I'm going hard for the million views. And I want to get my subscriber count up, but with a bigger audience. I want to gain more genuine support and not just dead numbers. Cause my subscriber count going up, but I don't really see that many new, genuine people's audience members support my channel. So it's all up there. Happy Tuesday. Enjoy y'all Tuesday. Make the best of the day.